Stay with me as I take you on a botanical theme Christmas light tour. Before we get going, I do need to show you that I put on this special holiday sweater. Check it out. So I am ready. Are you ready? Let's begin. I had an opportunity to visit a unique Christmas light show that's not like many other Christmas light shows I've ever seen. This show was completely botanical theme based and it was at a place called Meadowlark Botanical Gardens, which makes sense. If you don't know what a botanical garden is, that is basically somewhere where you can tour and see all these unique plants and flowers. So most of their business is in the summer and spring when everything's blooming. They need some sort of way to generate income in the winter, so they developed a botanical theme Christmas show. Although this happens around Christmas time, it's very non-denominational. You don't see like giant menorahs or you know crosses or whatever. It's mainly focused, like 95% of the decorations are animals and plants. So if you have a kid who's really into animals, this is a very cool light show to take them to. Northern Virginia Parks runs Metal Art Gardens, and so to make a little extra money, they have a tchotchke store up front where you can get some Christmas stuff, and they also have a little local history there. You can look at these busts, and this guy looks just like Ron Paul. Check it out. That's totally Ron Paul. Hmm. Anyway, they even have some wildlife displayed. Uh, here's a pretty cool chameleon that's right before you get into the Christmas stuff. So when you walk outside, you first kind of hit the tree area. So they dress up some of their trees that normally would be blooming beautiful flowers and all kinds of neat leaves in the summer. And they look beautiful. Some really nice colors. But you can notice there's not any big Santa Clauses or anything like that. It's really focused on the plants. But it's neat. Some of these have like little shimmering effects. And then you eventually work your way down the path and you just follow these changing orbs. You can get an idea there of how many people are around. But you get to some beautiful light displays. This is kind of like a willow tree. And you check him out. But you'll notice in the very beginning, like I said, it's mainly focused on trees and plants. About halfway through the tour, it gets to all the animals. One of the very first things you come upon is this lake. There's a big gazebo out there. When you pull back from the lake, you'll see a bunch of flowers and a beehive. So you'll see that, like, you know, there's grass planted and these flowers coming out. And then these little bees that are going to pollinate all these flowers. And this was really cute. I love this. You can check this one out. Then you mosey on down the path some more, and you'll run into flowers and trees all over the place. There's even more bees. But you'll start getting into some Christmas theme oriented. You'll see, you know, a couple Christmas trees here and there. This is one of my favorites, though. You'll start getting into the animals if you notice the frog. And butterflies. And what'll happen as you start walking through here is there's just animals hidden everywhere. And you've got to look around to catch them all. So if you want to bring kids, they'll love it. Like here's a hummingbird that if you're not paying attention, you wouldn't even notice. And dragonflies. And these things like the squirrel are way up in a tree or the woodpecker that if you're not paying attention, you'll totally walk by them. So you need to kind of go slow and take your time and check out some of the cool things. One of the more unexpected things to find is an entire stream that runs through the tour. So they have this stream they created out of lights, and there's things like fish and turtles and beavers. It's really neat, and it goes on and on and on. They also have displays that are linked to Christmas music in sync. Here, I'll let you listen to it. <laughs> It's pretty
pretty much the big Christmas theme display. Everything else is animals and wildlife. So we go back to the frogs, and look at that crane. I never noticed that he was trying to get that frog. He's just watching. I don't trust that crane. There's cool ladybugs, and they even have spiders. Hey, all life celebrated. Check him out, Black Widow. And inchworms. They also have, oh, grasshoppers. Yeah, he's cool. And my favorite, check him out, the beaver. He's the one at the very top of the stream. He created all this. So all these other animals are hanging out. And the owl's way up in the trees. If you're not looking, you'll miss him. And the deer, they're totally noticing you're there. A cool fox. And this toad who's disapproving of your lifestyle. Look at his face. He does not approve of the way you're living. And you get more into the gardens and trellises again and get back into the plants. More dragonflies. And this is one of my girlfriend's favorite. It's just snails and mushrooms. They're really cute. There's some more of mushrooms, some rabbits. And then you get to this cool archway. You can walk through and the lights dance. This is a really clever display I've never seen before. If you haven't figured it out, it's a pumpkin patch. So you see the green growing and then the orbs are actually the pumpkins. I love it. Never seen anything like it. We get back and there's more flower themed trellises. You finally hit a pit stop where you can warm up by a fire or even roast some marshmallows. So you go to the big grates here and you can pick your marshmallows up right here at this station. They give you those long sticks. If you look, you can just line up and you get them from this little shack here. And near the end, you finally see some snow. So there's some beautiful snow falling. Also, they do have a facility right on the grounds here where I believe you can get married. So that could be like the background of your wedding. And I think you can contact them through the website there. There seems to be a sign for it here. I don't know, but check it out. Looks pretty fun. You eventually loop back around to the inside and warm back up. And you can buy more chachis before you leave if you want. But it is decorated really nice. The cost of this light show is somewhere between eight to $13, depending on um, how busy they are. They kind of prorate their rate. And the cheapest way obviously is to get it online. The other thing about this is it actually runs past New Year's. So if you get so busy during the holidays that you never get a chance to take your kids to a light show, you're not a bad parent because you can still take them after Christmas. And this is a really unique thing to do to kind of just wind down that whole holiday stress. Just go after New Year's and check out this really unique show. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also give this a thumbs up, a like, a share, or if you have something to add, remember to comment below. Thanks. Also, don't forget to stop by terranlupo.com. I have up videos that you can't see anywhere else. Currently, I have one on carnivorous plants and also how to make your own mead. All you have to do is go over.